you guys. Danger zone. Danger zone. Top Gun Maverick opens this week after what seems like years of delays. Uh, tell us about it, Chrissy. Well, Tom Cruise is an assistant upon the theatrical experience. And for this, I do not blame him. <laughs> for this movie, sure, yeah. You have to see this in a theater because you've got to experience like the room of like the sound design and you want to see it and you want to see that like clearly top, Tom Cruise is in the plane and mm. he's pulling G's and he <laughs> wants you to see that. And so, uh, as you said, it can so succinctly like, this was never going to be streaming. Like, there's just absolutely no way. So here you go. So go see it at a theater this weekend. Um, Top Gun Maverick. It is 36 years since the original Top Gun. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. And we're off. This is essentially Top Gun in a lot of ways. Like oh, yeah. from the opening, from the very, very opening where you hear like, bong. <laughs> like it is the Harold Faltermeyer score. It is the exact same full screen of like, in 1969, the US yeah. government did da 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 They and call they, it they, Top Gun. The guys on the on the aircraft carrier, like I didn't realize until going back to rewatch Top Gun for the other review we did this week. Like, oh, they basically just did the exact same beginning. And they play Danger Zone. Yeah. So and he now Don has Simpson's to, name is back in it. You know? Yes, they now have to they now Maverick has to teach a bunch of young pilots, including Goose's son, played by Miles Teller. He's got to train them how to do this mission, which is essentially blowing up the Death Star. Yeah. And, like, like there's literally a thermal <laughs> port involved. It's like a very narrow canyon they have to navigate and then like make the perfect little pinpoint shot. This is not a spoiler, by the way. No. Do not get angry. This is not a spoiler. Um, so you get this ragtag band of attractive young people <laughs> who eventually will play shirtless football. The love interest now is Jennifer Connelly, who is the aforementioned Admiral's daughter. She is Penny Benjamin. All the math is off on this. Uh, like, if you yeah. want to do math, so Miles Teller's character as Should a little boy. 40 by now. Right. He was like, what, four? <laughs> Three or four years old. The in piano Top Gun, yeah. when Goose plays Great Balls of Fire in the bar. Yeah. And now he's Miles Teller. <laughs> Anyway, I had so much fun. I had so much fun and I recognize the innate hypocrisy of this. So before you come at me, trust me, I recognize it myself, but this does everything I hated about the Ghostbusters reboot, but it does it really, really well. Like it shows you all the things you knew from the original. It actually inserts little pieces of film from the original in case you couldn't get what the reference was. It does some hand holding that I found a little obnoxious, but- Like coming to America did? <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, there's, there's, anyway, I won't say what it did, but there are pieces from the original Top Gun in this as, to remind you what is at stake here emotionally, but it is so well made. It is so thrillingly edited. It is Tom Cruise getting to return to an iconic role, perhaps the iconic role of his career, but it's not just the same old Maverick. Yes, he is swaggering. Yes, he still rides a motorcycle without a helmet, but he gets to evolve and in, show some age in ways that I thought were interesting. I had a really good time. It's, just, it's like, it is the kind of giant star vehicle that we need to launch the summer. And I am shocked at how much I enjoyed myself. And I know that you did not enjoy yourself quite so much. Well, uh, yes and no. I was <laughs> entertained. I, I will acknowledge that this is a this is an entertainment machine. Like when people talk about movies being like a theme park ride, that's what this is, mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily a compliment. Um, but <laughs> you know, it is what it is, and it does that thing very well. But I think this movie is principally a Gen X fantasy where you get to be the old guy who gets called in and, you know, to to teach the best and the brightest of the next generation, and you're better than all of them. <laughs> you know, that's basically what's happening here. And, uh, you know, Tom Cruise is, you know, look, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows how to be this guy. He knows how to be this movie star. It's a, I'm a, I get a little melancholy when I think Aww. about the fact that like, well, look, he took his chits from the first Top Gun. He was like, I'm going to make a Scorsese movie. I'm going to make a Kubrick movie. I'm going to work with Oliver Stone. I'm going to, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson. I'm going to like work with all these really cool auteurs. And now he's just in the sequel business and he just makes this and Mission Impossible movies. And that's like all he wants to do. And so 
that's kind of a bummer, I think, but he's doing it 150%, you know? <laughs> and so if that's what you want to see, you're going to get it. And, you know, the new pilots are a pretty generic bunch of nothing for the most part <laughs> but you know the actual flying sequences are still exciting mm -hmm. it's funny you mentioned about like you know you want to see this in the theater i remember my experience with the first top gun was like seeing it in the theater thinking it was awesome seeing it on 16 millimeter at my college you know movie theater later being like eh, this is okay watching it on vhs being like oh wait this is terrible <laughs> so yeah i would say this is a movie you like shell out for the IMAX or the D box yeah. or the Dolby house or whatever your local theater has. If you're, if you're going to go out and see this mm -hmm. thing, get the full sachet because you want all <laughs> of the bells and whistles. Cause really all this movie is is bells and whistles. You want the ass rumbling sound, whatever yes. it is where the seats vibrate. You want that. Exactly. Um, they weave in the lady Gaga song very nicely. I thought she gets a music by co-credit alongside yeah. Hans Zimmer and Harold Faltermeyer. So they, I think they, they pay homage to the original, but also take it in new directions. And they weave in the melody of her song throughout kind of the way they used the take my breath away right. synth throughout. I like that Jennifer Connelly is an age appropriate love interest for him. And she's great. She's not just the girl, like no, increasingly, she... increasingly in Top Gun, Kelly McGillis became just the girl who was there to like be supportive and make eyes at him. But <laughs> she's a badass. She runs the bar. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, there's a they work Val Kilmer in in a way that I thought yes. was very respectful and very poignant. And yes, gives him a nice moment, which I thought was really great. Um, you know, and, and uh, I, I, maybe it's just me. I hear that bong now, and all I think of is Taco Bell. Uh, well, it's <laughs> funny you mentioned that because the guy who directed this, Joseph Kaczynski, did the Taco Bell nacho fries ad. Oh, funny. Okay, with so Josh it's part Duhamel. Of the, the Taco Bell cinematic universe, then. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, look, I, like this was a movie where I was kind of sitting there going like, well, that's bullshit. And this is ridiculous. And why, why are they flying a mission in a country that is never named, you know, well, um, Alonzo, it's a snowy mountainous country that has uranium. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but at the same time, I was like, well, that's exciting. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, I, 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 I hated myself for it, but I, I was entertained by right. this thing that would not stop until it entertained me. It's just so well done. <laughs> that like you have to just sort of surrender to it like yes i want to be swept away now and and this was delayed for a while and i like it feels like it's time and i think like our collective enthusiasm for it is, that we will bring to this a lot of folks yeah. will bring to this is part of the experience yeah and i'm and i'm seeing some reviews out there that are insanely adulatory like the number <laughs> of 100s this movie has on metacritic right now i'm like Okay, <laughs> I, I, I wish I'd seen that movie, but all right. Well, <laughs> so the original clearly there's, top... a, there's a hunger for this thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the original Top Gun won an Oscar for Best Original Song for Take My Breath Away, and it got nominated mm -hmm. for a bunch of other ones for um, technical stuff like editing. We'll, we'll talk about the original Top Gun in, in a separate review. Um, but yeah, people were like, could this be the best picture? Does Tom Cruise finally win? his best actor Oscar, I'm like, no, but it's really fun summer entertainment. Yeah, and frankly, maybe because the Academy Awards don't mean anything. So, you know, anything is on the table, I suppose. But what is your number? We have very different numbers, even though I think we agree on a lot here. Yeah, I gave it a six. So okay. which is like I gave it's I'm a fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's like my lowest fresh. OK, I'm saying 8.8. .8. I had a really good okay. time, even though I knew exactly what it was doing <laughs> felt bad about myself after but you and i had a really good time did we not at the screening sure. yes we no had question. fun all right so top gun maverick out in the world there are some playing it tonight like a sneak of it tonight but i know yeah. that thursday night and then all Memorial Day weekend is planned right. a thousand times a day at every the theater in the country. Open. Oh yeah, no, it's hilarious. Go to your like local multiplex and just look at the columns of showtimes. Like that's all that's happening this weekend. You cannot stop. Orders. You cannot stop Tom Cruise. No, no, we won't. Let Don't you. even try. 